Okay, so what is up guys? Very interesting news today. Huawei is actually no longer the biggest smartphone manufacturer in China. Uh, as of today, Oppo has actually become the largest smartphone manufacturer in China. This might not seem significant to you, but it gets even more important when you consider the relationship between Oppo and Vivo, because Oppo is number one at, I believe, 21%, and Vivo is very close in second at 20%, which, if you had them together, that brings them to around 41%. Then, if you now had other brands like Realme and OnePlus and the relationship that those have with Oppo, it becomes such a huge deal that you start to consider if Oppo is trying to take over the world. Now, even if you decide that you want Vivo to stand alone as a brand of its own, it's still a ridiculous number, the way that Oppo came from behind and actually took over from Huawei. But when you actually consider all the sanctions and all the bans and everything that Huawei has been experiencing in the United States and around the world, it's understandable that this was eventually going to happen because they can no longer compete with other manufacturers that are actually going into the forefront right now. Another thing to note is that Oppo actually just released their Reno 5 series, which is actually how this happened, and they ended up with 21% of the market in January of 2021. Oppo is a big brand. I personally have not reviewed an Oppo phone on this channel. I have not used an Oppo phone in very recent times, but I actually hope to start taking a look and checking out Oppo phones going forward. I might start with the Reno5, who knows. Anyways, I just thought you guys should know that the largest, biggest phone manufacturer in China right now is Oppo, and let me know what you think about that. Do you actually think they can actually sustain this? Do you think they're probably going to drop back? Do you think Huawei is going to make a comeback at some point? And another thought that's behind my mind is actually how come Xiaoyi is not the biggest smartphone manufacturer in China because Xiaomi makes amazing phones and these phones are usually very affordable. I believe they say they cut their profit percentages or margins to 10% or something like that. And they believe anything more than that is just unnecessary. So a company like that, that actually sells you the best of the best phones at ridiculously affordable prices should be leading the market, not Oppo. At least that's what I think. Anyways, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. And I guess I will see you on another video that was shot by Kagan. Peace. The kind of gods.